What is up, everybody? Digidick here with Tactical Gaming. I do apologize for the way I probably sound right now, but I do believe either I got a severe head cold or onset of the flu or something. I've been hocking up nasty stuff. My nose is a faucet and or clogged and or sneezing. It's running a slight fever, but... <laughs> I heard about this the other day, so I figured I'm going to do a video. So this is going to be about the New Mexico governor deciding to suspend 2A riots in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Which is completely and totally against the law. You can't do that. That's like literally taking away free speech or, you know, freedom in general just because you want to. But we'll get into this, and we'll see her reason good why. And it's kind of funny. Don't want to go after the criminals, but you're going to punish the good people. Kind of funny how that works, huh? Yeah, the governor of New Mexico is getting a lot of criticism over a new emergency order that suspends open and concealed carry laws in the city of Albuquerque. Now, this comes after a bunch of shootings there recently, including one that resulted in the death of a child. Take a listen. The now, the question is, were those shootings that were done, were they by law-abiding citizens, you know, people who've never been in trouble, or gang members? I think I'll go with gang members. The one people that city officials are too afraid to actually go after. The purpose is to try to create a cooling-off period where uh. we figure out how we can better address public safety and gun violence. Right. Now, a lot of people That's there are dumb. quite literally up in arms over the ban. Yesterday, protesters took to the streets to uh, demonstrate against that new rule. But it's not just those that are pushing back. Albuquerque's mayor, the police chief there, and a county sheriff are all vowing not to enforce the governor's ban. Because they can't. The they can legally get in trouble. Can you walk us through the drama with this one? Can the mayor and the police chief just decide not to enforce something that the governor's put out? And what about the... Yes. Yes, they can, because it goes against the Constitution, and they themselves, as well as the governor, are there to empower and uphold the Constitution. <laughs> not, not rewrite it, not decide on how, how they're going to, like, you know put forth, oh, this one's okay, but we're not going to do this one. This one's bad. No. They're supposed to be there to make sure it's being upheld, period. <laughs> and what they're doing is illegal. And any one, any sheriff, any police officer, any pretty much mayor, governor, if, you know, actually said to do so, can actually be hit with federal charges. So, interesting. Those questions of whether or not this is even constitutional. It's not. Well, Gotti, that is exactly what these officials are raising when they are saying that they're not going to enforce this. They are saying that they have sworn an oath to defend the Constitution, and they See? feel that this order is unconstitutional. It I is. It's like saying, oh, hey, uh, the because people are saying mean words, you can't say mean words. Well, I understand the urgency. The temporary ban challenges the foundations of our Constitution. But most importantly, it is unconstitutional. Exactly. My oath was to protect the Constitution, and that is... And that's a colored gentleman. That's not a white guy. And he also said that he is concerned about potential civil liability for officers who yeah. do attempt to enforce this order. And also... That yeah, because they will get sued. At risk if they are and they will lose, especially if it goes to federal court. Citizens in seeking to... Uh, potentially take those guns or something like that. And so these are some of the concerns that were being <laughs> raised by law enforcement and officials in Albuquerque who are being asked to enforce this order. Uh. And Governor Michelle Lujan, Lujan Grisham, she's also getting backlash from people in her own party, right? 
That doesn't sound good. I mentioned the mayor, but also the attorney, uh, the district attorney in Albuquerque, who was appointed by the governor, has said that he will not oppose <laughs> this order. And we're also hearing from the city that is expressing concerns, saying that this could potentially create over policing and racial profiling in some communities if police and officers go in seeking those guns. And the ACLU is calling on the governor to use evidence based strategies like inter intervention and deterrent programs that are proven to address the root causes of this violence and they are saying that this order is not the answer. Gangs is the fucking root problem. Thanks, God dang it. <laughs> Thanks for watching our YouTube Yeah, and that's come from MSNBC, so or NBC. So they should tell you something, right? <laughs> I can see we're gonna love it. God my nose. But yeah. Suspending 2A just because. Wow. Kind of funny, right? Well, if you live somewhere and they're trying to do that, fight against it because um, they want you to be complacent. And that's what they're doing. They're testing to see how well it would go. People like her and other governors and other mayors that are like in power right now, they're going to be trying this stupid little underhanded shit all over the country to see... Oh, hey, can we actually get away with this yet? Or do we have to wait a little bit longer? Because they're trying to whittle away, you know, what America stands for. That way it's easier for them to control the masses because that's what they want. They want to control. They want to control you and I and what we think, what we purchase, where we go, how we, how we do everything. That's what they want. They want complete and utter control. And I, for one, like freedom. It may be a little chaotic, but guess what? Freedom's nice. So, like, share, subscribe, spread the word, and stay free, America. Love you guys.